What is it like to be different in Singapore? To be lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender or queer? Recently, a Singaporean man was fined $3,500 for posting on social media that he would like permission to open fire on the LGBTQ community in Singapore. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So when I went to high school, um, I got outed by a friend, uh, unintentionally, I guess, and so I got bullied a lot for it. But as a result, when I did a presentation one time, a lot of the kids in the back of the classroom would just start shouting, Hey fag, stop it, you little pussy, you're like a princess. And yeah, that really pissed me off. So yeah, hate hurts. I'm a bisexual woman. I'm married to a man. But people often say that bisexuality is a face. Um, one friend even asked me whether I was into white meat now because I was married to a Caucasian man. Such comments really hurt. Bisexuality is not just a face, it's a part of who I am. Hate hurts. And when my family found out that I was gay, I was actually kicked out of the house and I had to seek refuge with my friends and in camp. The feeling of being abandoned by our family, the people who think that supported you the most, hurts. Hate hurts. I identify as a gay trans man. Two years ago, at my former workplace, I received complaints about my usage of the men's bathroom. A few weeks after I received the complaints, I was confronted by this particular person outside the bathroom and he started yelling at me saying that I had no right to use the men's bathroom at all and that he would call the police if he saw me using the men's bathroom again. At the time I felt very shocked and very scared because it was such an unexpected confrontation and I didn't know if he would actually call the police after that. Hate hurts. One time someone told my mother to shut up because she doesn't have a voice in the conversation because she has to handle her lesbian daughter first. This is the same woman who worked two jobs so I get to stay in university. And she tried her best not to tell me this incident because she didn't want to hurt my feelings. Hate hurts. I was walking down the street and uh, holding hands with my boyfriend at the time. And then this guy, who was obviously drunk, came up to us and he decided to grab my crotch. He did. It was really shocking. Hate hurts. Part of my job at Project X, I work with a lot of transgender women, especially transgender women in the sex industry. One of the stories that I've heard from the women that I've worked with is that of street harassment. Trans women tell me that a lot of teenage boys, or even slightly older boys, walk past them, shout vulgarities at them, use derogatory terms to describe them, and then run away laughing. Hate hurts. When I was 15 in school, I was walking down my school's corridor, and suddenly there were a bunch of seniors who came up to me and they cornered me and they told me in my face that I should see a doctor because being gay was wrong. They knew that I was gay and they said that gays aren't accepted by society. It hurts. Homophobia, biphobia and transphobia are very real experiences for the LGBTQ community in Singapore. My name is Shini and I'm a counsellor with Uga Chaga and I see the effects of this every day. Uga Chaga is a community-based professional counselling and support service for LGBTQ individuals, couples and families. We need to raise funds this year because our major sponsor withdrew their support and did not give us a reason. Siblings, parents and the friends of the LGBTQ community, we need your help. We ask for your support so we can continue supporting Singapore's LGBTQ community, which is also a big part of yours. Please donate now. Thank you.